3, 2, 1, and yes, we have ignition, we have a LIF offer over for decades Voyager 1 has been journeying through space, gradually moving away from Earth and exploring distant corners of the universe. Recently, this intrepid probe startled scientists with a peculiar message, hinting at the existence of a new cosmic force. Renowned physicist Misha Koku has shed light on this enigmatic force and why that's emerged now. He speculates that we might detect signals from extraterrestrial civilizations within this century. Join us as we delve into the implications of this discovery and its connection to the formula that describes the universe. In 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, a spacecraft that revolutionized our understanding of outer space. Its primary mission was to study our solar system, especially the outer planets and their moons, and eventually journey into interstellar space. Voyager 1 exceeded all expectations, conducting flybys of Saturn, Venus, Uranus, and Jupiter. After four decades, Voyager 1 made a groundbreaking discovery of an entirely new elemental force, sending shock waves through the scientific community. Before we explore Misha Koku's insights, it's crucial to grasp Voyager 1's significance. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 holds the record for the farthest human made object from Earth. Equipped with advanced instruments and a golden record containing sounds and images representing Earth, Voyager 1 serves as a time capsule and an invitation to potential extraterrestrial life. Voyager 1's journey has been remarkable, capturing breathtaking images of Jupiter's great red spot and Saturn's rings. In 2012, it crossed into interstellar space, becoming humanity's first emissary to the cosmos. Despite its age, Voyager 1 continues to communicate from over 14 billion miles away, providing valuable data about interstellar phenomena. Originally slated for a five-year mission, Voyager 1's longevity is a testament to human ingenuity and scientific exploration. Its discoveries, including the detection of interstellar sounds, offer profound insights into the universe beyond our solar system. Voyager 1 was powered by a remarkable device known as a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, utilizing the decay of plutonium-238 to produce electricity. Plutonium-238 isn't something readily available, it's synthesized in specialized nuclear reactors. The process involves irradiating another isotope, Neptunium-236, which undergoes radioactive decay to become the valuable plutonium-238. This transformation requires several steps, including irradiation, separation, and purification. Within the RTG, there's a clever arrangement of thermocouples, each made of different materials. When exposed to the heat emitted by decaying plutonium-238, these thermocouples create a temperature gradient akin to a thermal dance party inside the spacecraft. This gradient generates an electric current through a phenomenon called the Seebeck effect which powers Voyager 1's instruments and systems. At the outset of its epic journey, Voyager 1's RTG was a powerhouse, generating a hefty 470 watts of electrical power. However, as it voyaged deeper into space, its power output gradually dwindled. Plutonium-238 has a half-life of approximately 877 years, meaning its power output decreases by half every 877 years. Presently, Voyager 1's RTG is estimated to produce around 250 watts of power, a testament to its endurance amidst decades of extreme conditions. Recently, Voyager 1 experienced an unusual event, leading it to transmit perplexing messages back to Earth. These strange signals have piqued the interest of scientists, prompting them to embark on a quest to decipher the issue. Some speculate a malfunction, fueling unconventional theories and sparking discussions within the scientific community. One captivating theory gaining attention is the concept of the God Equation, championed by renowned theoretical physicist Misha Koku. For three decades, Koku has been fascinated by this equation, envisioned as a unified theory of all fundamental forces of nature, akin to Leonard O's equation in mathematics. Koku envisions this equation as the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. In a recent interview, Koku addressed the intriguing data from Voyager 1, acknowledging the potential for encountering unknown forces. He pondered whether such encounters could provide insights into unifying grand field theories. However, debates persist within the scientific community regarding the feasibility of such unification. 
the Voyager 1 discovery underscores the gap between theoretical physics and quantum mechanics, highlighting the challenges in reconciling large-scale phenomena with subatomic realities. While classical physics deals with observable and measurable phenomena like gravity, quantum mechanics delves into the mysterious realm of elementary particles, pushing the boundaries of human understanding. In essence, Voyager 1's journey symbolizes humanity's quest for knowledge and our enduring curiosity about the cosmos. As scientists grapple with the mysteries it unveils, they continue to push the boundaries of scientific inquiry, seeking to unravel the secrets of the universe. Isaac Newton, the English natural scientist, was the first to define physical forces as movements and dynamics exemplified by everyday experiences like the falling of an apple, or the sensation of firmness beneath our feet. However, it was Albert Einstein who delved into the realm of subatomic particles such as photons or quanta. At the turn of the 20th century, Einstein's contributions to quantum physics earned him a Nobel Prize, though he's more commonly associated with his theory of relativity. Throughout his life, Einstein recognized the groundbreaking nature of his discoveries but sought a unified field theory, a single formula encompassing all phenomena and forces. Einstein's quest for a unified theory faced challenges, notably his rejection of quantum physics due to its probabilistic nature, which conflicted with his deterministic worldview. Born in 1947, Misha Koku, a physicist, encountered quantum theories during his studies and saw their compatibility with classical physics. Koku acknowledges the practical applications of physics, with each force discovery reshaping human history. From Newton's mechanics to Einstein's relativity and Maxwell Faraday's unification of electricity and magnetism, the challenge of unifying relativity in quantum theory persists. Einstein's general relativity describes gravity as smooth spacetime curves, while quantum theory deals with discrete particles and their interactions. String theory, which Koku specializes in, proposes that particles are tiny vibrating strings offering symmetrical transformations between different particles. While string theory remains consistent, its lack of experimental tests is a major criticism. However, Koku remains hopeful, believing advancements in technology and understanding will bring us closer to testing the theory. A theory of everything, like the God equation, could unlock astonishing possibilities, time travel, wormholes, and knowledge about the universe's origin. Regarding Voyager 1's possible malfunction, it's not unprecedented. In 1980, it faced gyroscopic anomalies. Engineers and scientists meticulously investigated, attributing the issues to aging components and space's harsh conditions. Similar dedication will likely resolve any current malfunctions, ensuring Voyager 1's continued exploration of the cosmos. The team devised innovative solutions to address Voyager 1's malfunctions, implementing software updates and recalibrating the attitude control system. These efforts successfully stabilized Voyager 1, allowing it to continue its mission and provide invaluable insights into the outer regions of the solar system. Now, you may wonder how a technologically outdated probe from the 1970s is related to the solution of the elusive God equation. The connection is both simple and complex, as scientists find themselves divided once again due to the current data received from the probe. In 2012, Voyager 1 achieved a historic milestone by becoming the first human-made object to cross the boundary of our solar system. Our sun emits a stable stream of particles, creating an enormous bubble known as the heliosphere, which envelops the star and all the planets. Beyond this lies the interstellar medium, the space between stars spanning vast distances in the cosmos. The main difference between these two regions lies in the forces at play, particularly the particle density within the heliosphere. The particle density is approximately 100 particles per cubic cm. However, once Voyager 1 ventured into interstellar space, the particle density dropped significantly to just one particle per cubic cm. This stark difference led researchers to assume that sound transmission in the cosmos is either impossible or severely weakened, as sound relies on particle oscillations. Until now, our knowledge of interstellar space relied on mathematical and physical assumptions as well as observations of faint oscillations such as gravitational waves. However, Voyager 1 surprised us with its entry into the interstellar medium, revealing a denser and more stable boundary than originally predicted. Over the years, Voyager 1 has continued its journey, 
traveling at a speed of nearly 37,000 miles per hour. Astonishingly, the probe still reliably sends data back to Earth, despite taking several hours to reach us. These transmissions are captured by dedicated antennas erected specifically for this purpose. However, in 2022, Voyager 1 reported data anomalies that initially led researchers to suspect a technical malfunction. After a short period, the data stabilized, leaving some scientists to believe that the probe experienced age-related failures, while others consider the possibility of an unknown force at play. This has given rise to the Voyager paradox due to the staggering distances involved. Voyager 1 operates based on instructions dispatched from Earth in the past, rendering them outdated to Earth's present time due to the considerable time delay in signal transmission. This paradox challenges our intuitive understanding of communication time and our perception of events in the vastness of space.